Hey, it's Mr. Xyrus here with another battle gameplay. Today we're featuring the Battle of Antwerp between the forces of the French Republic and the United Kingdom. Leading the forces of the French Republic today is Marshal Jean-Victor Marie Marot, or Marshal Victor. Um, and leading the forces of the United Kingdom today is James Leith. Um, we find ourselves in Antwerp, which is a port city just north of Brussels in the Netherlands, or southern ne Netherlands, Belgium, kind of present-day Belgium, I should say. And the United Kingdom has um, fortified themselves in this port city, and so I defied, decided to um, attack them and try to drive them out of um, France once again. Um, my forces today, I have just one unit of artillery, um, about four units of cavalry, and I have my cavalry reserve here today, which is about 130 horsemen strong. I have uh, three conscripts, units of conscripts, two units of grenaders, and uh, a couple units of fusier de lines. So I don't have much artillery today, but I do have a lot of cavalry, which hopefully can help out. On um, the United, the British Army today, um, they're very fortified. Um, they have like about three or four units of artillery, three or four units of cavalry, and a lot of good solid infantry. Um, as you can see here, they're really dug into these fortified positions with stakes, so I can't necessarily charge them, and their cal uh, artillery are set up well, so I have to be careful. When I make my offense up toward them, and it's I'm going to be the one making the first move during the battle. Um, right now, I have my left flank just kind of like moving, my left wing, I should say, just kind of slowly moving up, and I stopped them right here because I saw some grape shot come, and I, just, I didn't want to like also lose uh, half my army due, due to some British grape shots, so I just stopped them right here. And I have some Void Teachers um, just kind of showering them with some uh, volley fire, so maybe to. I'll kind of put a little blow in before I make my main offensive. I also have the uh, one unit of the old guard today. Let's see, where are they? They're over here. I kind of had to hide them because I knew the British artillery was going to try to fire at them. So I have some old guard units here today. Um, since the Battle of Marseille, it's been about eight, nine or ten rounds. Um, things have kind of kind of gone, gone haywire in uh, the French Republic. Um, the region of Brittany was lost for a little bit by a small British army, but I was able to recapture Brittany. Um, rebels and Venice took over, and then eventually Austrian once again took control of Venice. Um, there was peace with Austria for about five rounds, but then once again they declared war. But um, British has landed two major armies in uh, Belgium, present-day Belgium. Um, and I only have one army there, so hopefully I'll be able to take out this army before the two armies can join. That's the main reason I'm doing this. Um, Belgium, uh, Prussia has been very aggressive. Prussia has been very aggressive in the areas of like baden wurttemberg and Bavaria, just attacking my armies constantly. Uh, Alsace Lorraine was even under, I think currently, yeah, Alsace Lorraine is under Prussian control. That my that region right in between, you know, Wurttemberg and the main region of France is under Prussian control at the moment. Um, I think von Blucher is, von Blucher is in St Strasbourg, so that's not good. And um, so right now, my main forces, I have an army in Innsbruck, an army in Italy, and um, about two or three armies kind of spread out just um, outside the borders of France. So, but I may, I've kind of changed my strategy now for the rest of the, not for the rest of the game, but for the next ten turns, is I'm going to be very defensive. I'm going to not go for any more territories. I'm going to establish forts in regions like uh, Strasbourg and Milan that always get, seem to get attacked and have base armies there that will always remain there and kind of focus on some of my other objectives like uh, capturing Dublin, um, capturing hopefully eventually Vienna, um, wiping out all the remaining countries in the Italy, uh, Italian peninsula and handing those regions over to the Italian Republic which is becoming starting to become a very good ally of mine and uh, so that's really the main goal of the next about eight to ten turns. Hopefully you can start off on a well um, on a good step by winning this battle. So not much is happening right now. I kind of brought these void teachers back because they're getting some grape shot as well. It's not as bad as them obviously because they're spread out in kind of a, a skirmish formation but still. I'm bringing some of those conscripts over here. Um, my hope is that the fighting doesn't all occur in the forest because it's very hard actually to sometimes to direct fighting in the forest because you just have these trees and there's smoke and so sometimes it gets kind of difficult and there's not much you can do about it. Um, what else? The, mar the general today is uh, General Marshal Victor 
few know in history books, Marshal Victor was a very famous general of Napoleon. One of his marshals of France. Um, my reserves, these are kind of my reserves, I guess you might say. The Grenaders are kind of taking some hits. Um, but the Br British did have very good artillery today, so that's one of the only major setbacks. I brought my cavalry all the way over here. As you can see, they already lost 50 of their horsemen. You can see a lot of them lying dead here because the British artillery just uh, fired upon them. And I brought them over here because the British artillery can't fire over there unless they move their artillery significantly. Um, so they'll probably hopefully hit in the end. I do still have two regiments of Hussars and one regiment of Dragoons, I believe. Maybe not. Nevertheless, nevertheless, I have about four good rounds of cavalry, good units of cavalry. Chessers a cheval, which can also shoot. So yep, there, then there's old guard. I'm kind of, I guess I don't really have a solid right wing. I guess my artillery is kind of vulnerable, but it would be very hard for the British to come all the way around here to attack my artillery. So making kind of a minor offensive here with two battalions of infantry. I was kind of doing a fake charge right there to kind of hopefully draw an attack of cavalry and then form them into squares. We can see some British hussars here, but they ran right into a square of fusier lines. Looks like, oh, I brought my general over here to help those two battalions, and it looks like Marshal Victor has been killed. That's not a good note to start off on. The general there's is dead. The general staff is still alive to rally, but. The main general is dead. As you can tell right here, it's just it's kind of hard to direct sometimes. Battle. I had my infantry attack these artillery, so they'll get one of get rid of one unit of British artillery. Got my voyagers trying to attack their um, light cavalry squadron, the dragoons. But I do have a square right here of infantry, so that should probably help too. Approach my conscripts to help in the rear. Nothing really happening in the right side. My cavalry is attacking their two their infantry their infantry units. Hopefully they can attack before they hit the stakes, because that's always bad. Cavalry and stakes goes ma major losses. So I'll wipe out another unit of artillery. Back over here. Looks like the British have some Highlanders, some Scottish Highlanders. I'm advancing my 100 unit uh, cavalry reserve on these cavalry, on these artillery units, I should say. Uh, they got one round of grape shot off, but still, I have 87 cavalry left. Which isn't anywhere near what I would like, but I would expect a lot more out of a massive reserve of 150 men, but I'll have to deal with it. Let's see, we're now charged by the British Dragoons. Kind of did a hit and run over here, I got my cavalry out of there. I'm advancing my center. Our men are running, sir. So we got some running over here. That's not good. Um, I'm advancing my center of fusier to lines, and I'm also advancing the grenadiers a little bit into the center position instead of the reserves. I'm also advancing the old guard, kind of as my right flank. My goal is eventually to draw them closer so I can get some grape shot on them because I only have one unit of artillery, and that's still really the only thing I can do. I did wipe out, however, two units of their artillery, so that's a good thing. See, I still have the conscripts here. Some fusier to lines. They've kind of bunched up in their own center. So my artillery should kind of have a little better, easier time. I'm hitting their center and getting major losses. Attacking another artillery position of howitzers. With my uh, hussars. but they will also be defeated, and I think that only leaves one unit of artillery left for the British. British over here, they looks like they had some cavalry units that regained their composure, and they're not re-entering the battlefield. Our men are running, sir. Let's see, my fuse in my... I don't know why my main center is retreating. They must have been hit by artillery. So I'm bringing them back as well, because they have really no hope to do anything. 
going to rejoin them with the Grenaders here. Looks like I'm facing a little grape shot. Grape shot coming over there. Our men are running, sir. Looks like my cavalry is retreating. Hopefully, my old guard can kind of flank their infantry over here. I'm also hitting them with some hussars cavalry, so hopefully that'll help as well. See, we got some retreating cavalry units. My general staff is retreating, so that's not good at all. They must have been hit by some grape shot or something. We got British. We got some British dragoons kind of harassing me in here. That's why we're retreating. See, I wasn't able. I wasn't able to see that. I wasn't able to like form squares or anything. So that's kind of half my fault, half just the trees I can't see. I had some retreating skirmishers, some retreating fusilier de lines. One bad thing about the conscripts is they cannot form squares, so they're kind of vulnerable to cavalry. See my cavalry there trying to counter these two units of uh, light foot. Doing a charge now with my old guard. It wasn't a really smart move. I, th I thought it was good at the time, but looking back, I shouldn't have done that. I should have let them make some volley fire. What I'm doing is bringing all my infantry back to my artillery because obviously I've kind of lost my offensive here in the forest and I don't feel like dealing with anymore. I'm fighting the force. I want to be able to easily manage my troops, so I'm bringing them back. Running, Artillery, let's see, I have some retreating cavalry. Hopefully my hussars can kind of, I think, the KDA will survive, but my old guard is retreating. And the cavalry is retreating. See, now hopefully they will start to come closer and I can hit them with grape shot. Let's see, it looks like we've got the new Voyagers have regained their composure. I'm still getting harassed by these dragoons. My only hope right now is for them to come closer and let my grape shot kind of win the battle for me. Unfortunately, they're only four pounders, so I'm kind of having artillery. The, in the the way the setup is made is that you're only given you're given very good artillery to start off with in the campaign, but you can't remake those artillery. The only artillery you can remake is like four pounders, and um, you can't remake any like twelve pounders or anything unless you have the maximum. Um, engineer schools made. So all I have right now and like all my armies is just four pounders. But there are a couple eight pounders and twelve pounders remaining. Our men are running, sir. Those are, I think those are some of my units that regained their composure but they were just attacked again by the sky um, these British dragoons. This is really bad I lost my general. I do still have three uh, barrage fires left with my artillery, so those are those help out. They give like three round bursts in a really short amount of time. I'm attacking their general staff, my hussars. I see my grape shot really going onto that mass of troops. I'm kind of an artillery barrage right now as it is. I have a Grenader Battalion, two Grenader Battalions, and two Fusier Alliance. That's, at least I have them. I don't have any just conscripts left, so I do have a pretty powerful force in the remaining, so that's good. And I also had some Hussars return to the battle as well, so I have two units of cavalry as well, so that's a positive note. We have killed their, generals. their general is killed, now James Leave. I'm moving my artillery now, because I can attack the the vulnerable right side of the artillery with my cavalry, and I'm going to move them right about here, kind of moving them aiming left more so they can really fire upon this advancing offensive by the British, these line infantry and these grenaders. So.
So my cavalry really are able, I'm gonna, gonna be able to take out that unit of infantry. So we'll look at the remaining British units. We have uh, kind of half-sized left unit of light dragoons, some six-pounder artillery, a couple units of light infantry, grenaders. So they have a pretty sizable force left. Now, and I have two units of cavalry, four units of infantry. I'm kind of moving them all up a teeny bit. The men are fatigued, sir, and, must rest and one unit of four-pounder artillery. And uh, there's kind of a little break in the action here for a little bit, so we'll uh, fast forward and pick up where the action when the action starts again. Okay, as you can see here, the uh, British are beginning to make another offensive. They start off with this cavalry charge that kind of failed after I just gave them a wolf grape shot. Um, just placing my cavalry kind of in the forest, so hopefully they don't get hit by artillery. They're kind of hidden from, hidden from artillery, so that's good. And um, Looks like they're spreading out their forces a teeny bit. When they attacked me the first time, they were very centered. And they, they kind of were all bunched up, and I could get a lot of them with Grape Shot, but they're kind of expanding a teeny bit. These two units of infantry, they're kind of vulnerable right now, so I'm going to attack one with one unit of infantry and the other with the other unit of cavalry, I should say. Yeah, right now, I'm just barraging the, their kind of right side with just normal sh uh, mortar fire not a uh, grape shot or anything. So they're retreating. So that kind of got rid of their small left wing of their army. They still have some mines set up. They still have stakes, but they kind of moved in front of the stakes. Those are irrelevant. This is why people, you know, sometimes people argue that you don't need a general in battle. It's just a waste of one unit space. But like, if they get attacked right now, their morale is going to their morale is going to drop significantly faster than it would if there was a general nearby. So that's why I think having a general is a really good thing. They've lost two men in my artillery, kind of a little foundry, but... Looks like we're going to have someone just kind of a little exchanging of artillery for the next couple of minutes. So I'm going to fast forward once again until um, either one of us makes another offensive. Alright, um, the British are, are the ones that are starting to make this offensive. They're advancing their entire army, so this is kind of kind of kind of be it. Um, I moved my two units of cavalry to my left side instead, because I thought that's who needed uh, to be strengthened. I'm going to try to quick attack their two units of foot on their right side. They're kind of vulnerable. Our men are running, sir. But that did not work out, as both my units were cavalry. Retreating, so that's the end of my cavalry. That's all I'm left now is with four units of infantry and some. Hopefully, if I can get them good with grape shot. They still have a unit of. Uh, they have some artillery back here. It's the only part of their army that remains on their rear. kind of on a hill here, so some of my grape shot might not be able to get to them because they can't just drop like that, but that's all that I have. Let's see, I have 90 men. Each unit has about 90 men left in their battalion. It's almost a, they've lost almost a third. The battalion full strength. I'm 
starting to lose men now in my artillery. I've lost eight men already. But some of their units are retreating, so that's a good note. I think there's one still remaining in the forest. Yep, some grenaders. Or no, just regular foot. It's not a little bit. My men are kind of kind of advanced. As of right now, it's looking kind of good, but they're probably going to counterattack. I'm guessing they're going to regain their composure. Lost 10 men in my artillery, so that's not good at all. I only have three working cannon right now. But their offensive kind of did fail, so that's a positive note. in my infantry now. I'm not trying to shell their remaining artillery because it's the only thing that can really hurt me significantly right now. If they hit my infantry. But yeah, there they go, and there they go, regaining their composure. So I'm gonna bring my infantry back in a little bit, because they're not gonna be able to face off against those units of like 100 remaining men. Maybe not 100, but like 80. So I'm bringing them back. And once again, I'm gonna try to hit them with Grape Shot with my three remaining cannon. They still have one unit in the forest that's really been kind of harassing me. Close foot. They still have 140 men remaining. All of my entire corp is, corp of battalions are kind of, the morale is lacking. And that just wiped out some artillery right there. Those two units of British infantry are retreating, so that's good. And they're not going to return after their second morale loss. But we still have some grenaders, some more grenaders, and that kind of strong battalion of line infantry left. So we got one unit retreating, grenaders. Kind of reshuffling my men, so they're another unit of grenaders, line of infantry is retreating. These grenaders are probably going to retreat. So all I have right now left is one unit of line infantry. So this is why having a general would be good, because I could reboost their morale, but... What I should have done is charge those line infantry units, because that's really the only thing that won, is winning the, that won the battle for the British at the moment. Those light is those line infantry. Looks like they, they got hit with artillery hard, and now the entire army is retreating, so that should bring the battle, unfortunately, to an end. So that is the Battle of Antwerp, a defeat for the French forces. Um, I had more men, but they were the British were just in a very good defensive position, and I wasn't able to properly um, dig them out. So we'll look at the 4th Pound Cannon, were the battle unit of the day. Um, so this loses, or does not kick the British out of the 
Belgium, present day Belgium and the port of Antwerp, but hopefully I'll be able to attack them soon again and kick them out um, for once and for all. So other than that, this is Mr. X Irish. Thanks for watching. I'll have another video out soon.